Marquise's entire life was about service. And then his own nature to just lift others. Such a physically beautiful child, such a spiritually and emotionally decent person. He never changed until the frat. In the fall of 2013, 18-year-old Queens native Marquise Bram went off to study biomedical engineering at Penn State University's Altoona campus. His family says he was a healthy, happy young man, eager to tackle the next chapter of his life. He was taking 18 credits. He was uh, um, studying to be an RA, and he was also the dorm leader. So it's like, you know, you have enough, young man. It's like, you know, and then he came, yeah, but the frat is the only fun thing that I'll be doing. When he joined, were there any concerns about him going through that process? You know, we knew that, oh, gee, he'll do some sort of like stupid rituals, but nothing that we thought would could be life threatening. The family says photographs and text messages on Marquise's phone later revealed exactly what it meant to be hazed by the Phi Sigma Kappa fraternity. Six months of things like having a gun pointed at someone's head, having to drink and fill two garbage pails of vomit, having to kill and then gut and skin squirrels having to engage in, 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 in fights where you're knocking out your brothers, your brothers. His phone is speaking to us from the grave. When was the last time you talked to your son? Marquise and I were out. We were just uh, finished our lunch. His last words to me was, Mom, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I still can't believe that this has happened. Marquise Bram jumped 10 stories to his death on March 14, 2014, sending his grieving parents into a haze of confusion. Marquise had jumped off of a hotel roof. What happened? It didn't make any sense to us. It still, it makes more sense to us now. An internal investigation done by Penn State later revealed that a week before his suicide, several high-ranking employees knew that Marquise and another pledge were being hazed and that Marquise was in psychological distress because of it. We have suffered. This entire family has suffered because of Penn State, what Penn State knew and what they didn't do. Because Penn State is looking for their own interests, not the interests of my family, not the interests of my children. We're all suffering to this day, wondering what could have made this happen. And they knew it was hazing. Penn State's internal investigation has been kept confidential by a judge's order. They did that to keep it from us seeing it. How evil is that? How evil must you be to do something like that, to let us suffer when you know what's going on? You know what the cause is. You knew when he was alive. That is evil, what they've done to us. Penn State told CNN that it has offered support to the Brain family on numerous occasions, and in a statement said it disputes the family's characterization of these matters and cannot comment further because of pending litigation. When you went to go clean out his dorm room, you found things. We found a couple bottles, a couple alcoholic bottles, and the, they had numbers on them, and they had some names on them. You have the pictures, but what happened to the bottles? Penn State threw them out. A member of their legal team sent a letter back and said that those um, bottles were discarded. And I'm like, discarded? They had pledged names and numbers on them. Discarded? In a statement, Penn State told CNN any claim that the university somehow interfered in law enforcement's investigation of this matter is patently false. With the evidence found on Marquise's cell phone and by talking to family and friends, the Brames say they pieced together what they think happened. They say they learned Marquise told his hometown priest he had been marked by his fraternity. And in the months leading up to his suicide, his family says he was texting his Penn State resident assistant. I feel like I've done so much that it can't get any worse, but it always does, LOL. Yes, it will get worse. I'm sorry to say, ha ha ha, but it will.
We were allowed to fall asleep last night, but I was too scared. I think I have a concussion and I didn't want to fall into a coma. Later that day, she responded, Stay strong, little buddy. You are almost done and you've been so strong. Days before his death, Marquise, who by this time was now a brother expected to be involved in hazing new pledges, sent this to his RA. I just never thought I would get to the point where I need counseling. She replied, I'm worried as F about you. According to court documents, the RA reported to her supervisor that she believed Marquise was in psychological crisis, and the supervisor sent the information up the chain. He was looking for brotherhood, for friendship, memories. Marquise had memories, and he hated them. He hated those memories so much he felt he had to die for what he had done, which is why he jumped off of the roof of a hotel so he wouldn't have to go back to school the next day. And I'm sure there were things that he was doing that he knew were just wrong. That's why Marquis is dead today. He died of a guilty conscience. He could not continue doing what he was doing. Marquis left two suicide notes, saying in one of them, in all honesty, I saw this coming since I was a child, so I apologize to those of you who are surprised by this. A grand jury determined there was no link between the fraternity pledging process and Brame's death, and that evidence points to a young man who had been contemplating suicide for a very long time. What was your reaction to that? That's why this keeps happening. That was my reaction to this, because no one takes it seriously. It's against the law in the state of Pennsylvania to haze. In the report, the grand jury report, they acknowledged that Marquise had been hazed. The brothers admitted that they hazed him, but the attorney general's office said, but we're not going to do anything. We're not going to prosecute that. The Pennsylvania State Attorney General's Office did not respond to a request by CNN for comment. Phi Sigma Kappa Fraternity told CNN that it too believes there is no link between the pledging process and Marquise's death, but added that the hazing activities, if true, are in direct violation of the fraternity's standards and expectations. The suit enters court the same summer that Marquise would have graduated from college. A new grand jury, led by a different prosecution team, is now looking into a cultural problem at Penn State fraternities and will take a second look at the Bram case. Sarah Ganim, CNN, New York.